Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Lawrenceville, Georgia. Second-ranked Georgia Gwinnett will uh, take on number 15, Middle Georgia, in a midweek sort of series finale as uh, the Knights would uh, beat the Grizzlies in extras 5-4. We're joined now by our head baseball coach, Brad Stromdahl. Coach, uh, what did you learn about your team today? Uh, Dolander's awesome. <laughs> we'll see some of that in the highlights here. Yeah, he was really good, um, as always. I mean, he's been he's been one of our most steady guys throughout the course of the season. And, um, you know, really just pitched, pitched again. Seven innings complete, right? Um, I don't know what the uh, – Five hits, two runs. I mean, it's pretty good. Um, you know, did exactly what he's supposed to do, and we didn't take care of our business on the back end. I mean, that's that's what it comes down to. We made some mistakes, and um, but you know, that's what happens when you're up against a good team. What, what do you make it of both of these offenses, both Middle Georgia and George Winnett, averaging almost eight runs per contest? They get half of that, and even less than that in this entire overall series. Is the because of the weather and starting to warm up and the pitching counts? So what do you make of this series here? The two great offenses didn't score a whole lot of runs. Uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, I just, I don't know. That's like a, that's a, that's a TV guy question. I, I don't know either. That's question. why I'm asking I mean, you. I, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I don't okay. think that there's, there's anything to how many people runs people score and all that stuff. It's, it's a matter of game to game. And they've, they play in a, they play in a really good ballpark to score some runs. And we've been, uh, We've been fortunate enough to put up some runs, but you know today it was a matter of who could just put up a zero. Um, you know, and we 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 didn't. I thought there was really good pitching from the seventh inning on um, in terms of arms and stuff, and you know they executed better than we did. One of those guys was Cole Uvula making the transition from starter to bullpen. I don't want to pin him to being a bullpen guy for the rest of the year, but do you like what you see in him making that transition? Yeah, no, I mean he did a great job. I mean, you know, it, it, you know, you could play hindsight in 2020. And all that stuff, and bring him in in the in the eighth inning. But the reality is that we need Sri Lanka, Michael Sri Lanka, to do what he's doing. Um, you know, unfortunately, we had a couple of balls go go to the backstop, and um, ended up being the game kind of. Um, but you know, he's got to be in that that position, Michael Sri Lanka. And then um, you know, Cole did a great job. Um, I don't know if he threw a three or two and a third. It looks like, um, but he did exactly what he's supposed to do, and um, you know, did a great job. And unfortunately, they poked a little ball down the down the line, and. Um, you know, that's what that's what baseball is about. And, you know, the season isn't won or lost today. That's what's great is that, you know, I think that we've been up here twice this year, which is yeah. which is not very many times. And, yeah, so I told the team we're just we're ready to make sure we hit reset. This sheet of paper in front of me says 25 wins and just five losses on the season. Pretty good for GGC is they'll have a, a tough turnaround here. How do you get rid of this loss and get ready for number one Faulkner coming up this weekend? Ah, oh, it's already gone. I mean, it's you know we just what we have to do is not worry about the loss itself, but what what can we do better in terms of being ready, and being prepared, um, executing the things that we have control over? Because you know sometimes you can't can't predict or you can't expect a ball to bounce a certain way, or um, we just have to make sure that we're prepared going into Friday, just like anybody and anything and. Um, like we've been doing all year, and we'll see what uh, what happens on Friday. With that, we take this box score and put it in the trash, and we look forward to the next one and a big showdown this weekend versus Faulkner. Coach, safe travels and good luck. Thanks, Matt. That'll do it here from us in Lawrenceville as uh, Middle Georgia takes the series finale from Georgia Winnett by a final score of 5-4 to four in extra innings.